in a game where, you know, last week where I kind of matched in the hand, but I came on my feet. If I would have just ran that, um, at the quarterback hip, it probably would have been a sack or a tackle. But in terms of the blocker that might be between you and him, and in terms of determining how to get through that guy, is that mostly you know, instinctual? I mean, yeah, I mean, I just, first off is to try to defeat the blocker. I mean, you got to always see, I mean, it depends on the path you're on. I mean, you still, we still get taught is to run at the near hip or, or whatever it may be. We still have to, first off, get rid of the blocker and, um, you know, try to make the play best way we can. When you're rushing against a guy like Josh Allen, do you have to kind of like alter the way you do as far as like discipline in the pass lane or just in a rushing lane or anything like yeah, that? Yeah, well, I mean, I don't think you have to just, I mean, all of a sudden just change how you rush. I think you have to be more like, I just cautious because, you know, guys like Josh Allen, like I said earlier, he wants to get outside of the pocket to his right. Because, I mean, everyone sees And when he get outside of the pocket to his right, he make plays. He make plays downfield. And that's how he want to play the game. He want to get outside, look for receiver downfield, and, um, you know, which he have a great uh, receiver as he digs. You know, them guys have been playing him so long, so they know I see him rolling. This time I'm going to get the ball. So I, I think that's our challenge this week is to constrict that pocket, you know, assault the middle of the pocket, um, and make our edge guys, you know, kind of easy for them if they doing you know rushing the way they rush and we get into his face you know we disrupting his time of it throwing and we making them lanes where he can't get outside of the pocket um constricted you know i think we'll have a good day you guys have shown a lot of resiliency especially over the last couple of years bouncing back from losses you may be drawing that this week as you get ready to go like yeah i mean each and every week you know they you know no matter if it's on mondays tuesdays wednesdays whenever that game it's scheduled to play, we got to play football. So I think each and every week, no matter if it's win or loss, we have to come in with the mindset that, you know, no matter who it is, you know, every game is a big game. You know, like I said, we lost, of course we lost last week. You know, our goal is to win each and every week. And uh, we're going to come in and today, like today, today got to be a great Wednesday practice. I mean, it's Thursday, but it's our first day, first and second down. It's got to be a great day because like I said, if we could be good on first and second down, get them in third and long, it's going to be a good day for us. Um, we, have, we just have to be better on third down for sure. But if we could be great on first and second down, it's going to be a good day. you feel like these guys are like the fourth divisional opponent for you guys? Like play we play them a lot. So it's like, you know, we kind of know their style of play, especially with the quarterback, the way they um, kind of run plays. You know, we know they kind of, when they get into the game, they kind of go with what they have success with. So we kind of know that about them. and. Like I said, each and every week, you know, um, you always have a team like the um, the, um, the Bills, and you know, it's always tough to play these teams like this. And it's, it's so happening that we getting to play them on Monday night. You know, I'm excited for it because, like I said, we're coming off a big loss that I felt like, you know, of course, we should have won that game. But and like I said, this is going to be another big challenge for us, especially defensively. You had to start penalizing these quarterbacks for throwing bad throws, but I mean, obviously, they're not going to do that. So. Uh, but yeah, I think some receivers are more tapped in than others, and I'm pretty sure that has a lot to do with how the receiver coaches or the head coaches coaching them up. You no, know, you talked a lot about how good Diggs is. What about the rest of their receiving core and tight ends? They seem to have a lot of weapons for Allen to work with. Yeah, they have a lot of weapons. Um, obviously, it starts with Diggs, but at the end of the day, Gabriel is the guy who's really coming on. I think he has like five or six touchdowns in his last two or three games. So he's really, he's a real ascending player in his league. Uh, Dawson Knox just got paid, and it's a reason why he got paid. He's a very athletic tight end, a lot of speed. Um, and I think they're going to try to get him a little bit more involved in the offense because he really wasn't that involved in the first game. So I would expect for him or the Bills to get him involved early in offense. Kevin, what is it about this team that you've been for years? I feel like you're coming off of a loss. You guys know just how to get up for a game, even something like this where you're 10 point underdog. I mean, what right. is it about? Is it the culture? Is yeah, I mean, I think that the culture of our team is usually tested when something bad happens or when we take a loss. And I think that, you know, there's never going to be any panic. But obviously, there's going to be a lot of urgency in the building that we understand that, you know, we're coming off a loss, going against a great team Monday night. The atmosphere is going to be electric. So, you know, we don't have time to sit around and sulk. And they're going to make us play the game on Monday. So we got to go out there and bring a lot of energy and make sure that we're on top of our game. You like that atmosphere? I love it. I mean, personally, obviously I love playing the Nissan, but I love those away games. Like, 
I remember last year being in Seattle. That was probably the loudest stadium I've ever been in. So I'm going to be expecting the same type of atmosphere. And those games are fun for me uh, because, I mean, fun for everybody it should be, but it's fun for me because, you know, you're just that much more locked in because how even on the sideline, like we're coming off on the field on defense, obviously it's not going to be as loud. But on the sideline, trying to make adjustments, like we're having to yell to each other because the crowd's so live. So I'm, I'm excited. Everybody gets Monday night game, so we just want to make the best of the opportunity that we have. Uh, for us, it's another game. Uh, we're going to prepare the same, you know, how we did, how we do every week. But, uh, you know, it's definitely fun whenever you get the spotlight on you. This, this team showed uh, uh, resiliency, especially last year, coming off a loss, bouncing right back with a win. I mean, how much will you guys pull from that this week when you go up to play a really good Buffalo Bills team? Um, I mean, you know, we like uh, we're not really like focused on how we came out last year, but uh, I mean, like I said earlier, it's just a great opportunity for us. You know, why not? Who wouldn't want to uh, bounce back like this? You know, playing against one of the top teams in the league, uh, against the best, one of the best offenses. So uh, I feel like it's a great opportunity ahead of us. You know, that we uh, we got to come out. You know, show what we're made of. And we don't want to start or two. You know, going going forward. Yeah, obviously everybody knows how good Diggs is, but mm -hmm. Gabe Davis has been a guy that's emerged over yeah, the last. True. Uh, mm -hmm. A little bit here. What makes him such a good receiver? Um, he's a great deep threat for him. Uh, he knows how to keep his plays alive for his quarterback. Um, and like a lot of attention does go to Diggs, so uh, he's going to have his like one-on-one -on -one matchups. So uh, those are the things that we have to be uh, aware of. You know where he's at, and you know how they like to get him the ball. Like I said, you know he likes to uh, get a lot of deep routes. When you got taken down on that long throw, uh, what, did, did, when you look at the film, what were you thinking? The flag should have been thrown? Oh, 100 um, percent. But you know, I had to, you know, get up, regroup, and um, just keep playing the game. Trailing overall, how do you, how do you think you graded out for Sunday? Um, you know, I really don't, you know, go off grades or anything. I just say just come out this week and um, you know build on what I built off, what I what I did last week, and just keep getting better and better. Offensively, you guys were, I think, were like one for five on third down in that second half when you're on the road facing a really good defense. How important is it going to be to, you know, convert those third downs and stay on the field and keep drives going? Um, you know, it's going to be really important. Um, but like I said, just, you know, we're, we're going to stick together um, and just go out there and play ball and do the things that we're close to do. Trailing your um, NFL debut is over now. You get your primetime debut. What are you most excited for playing on Monday night? Um, honestly, just getting to play the game that I love, um, going out there with my teammates, and, um, you know, hopefully we come out victorious. But if not, you know, just go play ball and have fun. Are you expecting the atmosphere to be kind of similar to what you played in in the SEC? Um, I can say, you know, somewhat, but I know it's going to be a lot different because, you know, it's the NFL. Um, and, you know, you're going to a place like the Bills, and, you know, you just got to be prepared for it. And, you know, that's what we're going to start doing today, preparing for it and just go out and play football. Thank you. Yeah, for sure. You know, it just feels good as a class as a whole just to see us all doing so well. And uh, one of the best draft classes they've had, so we're all working hard uh, every day. How are you um, looking forward to this atmosphere on Monday Night Football, something you've probably watched mm -hmm. for years yeah. um, in Buffalo? What have some of the guys kind of told you about that landscape? Uh, that's It's going to be real loud and get ready for it. Uh, they got a good fan base, so yeah, just be prepared for it. Ryan was talking about, you know, just their secondary when their safety's just the very good back there, and you being a shifty guy, you being a quick guy. I mean, just how much more has to be though on the emphasis to just, you know, get out of those tackles as much as you can with how solid they are. Yeah, no, they got a great defense, great secondary, so really deep into film study, you know, what they like to do, and um, yeah, like you said, just be able to make make people miss and break some tackles. Playing on Monday Night Football, is this something you've like dreamed of doing, playing in a big primetime game like this? Oh yeah, absolutely. You know, when I was a little kid, I always watched the games with my dad, so uh, it's, it's pretty cool to be in this moment right now. And what do you expect the atmosphere to be like? <laughs> to be real loud, real crazy. Um, it's real fun. Thanks, Kyle. Thank you. Thanks for doing that.